welcome back to a new episode of Hawker Pond's Geodome and this today in September we have compost tea or worm tea, how you wanna name it. We have a binge of coffee and vegetables and stuff and plants that are growing in the dome, they are getting demineralized and uh, it's just dripping underneath in here. We have an air stone in there that is aerating the substance and the fact is that demineralization can take place more easier with more oxygen in it. It's a nice aerobic situation down there. Plus the microorganisms, bacteria and other critters in the fauna uh, can multiply in a rapid rate and dissolve the last bit of worm tea that's down there. And then we can inject it into the system so we can give it a daily boost of Demineralized, demineralized biomass and a nice input of more microorganisms that are just helping the plant grow enormously. You know, but let's first depose this process. So here's a sample of what's going underneath here. We have worms there, we have smaller worms there, we have even have critters dancing on the surface of the water over there. So all these organisms are going to help and give the uh, give it the, the life in the system, microorganism life and stuff like that. A uh, bigger boost so plants can grow faster and bigger and healthier. Now let's get these fellows into the system because this is not uh, an area to live in. So here it goes. Hoppa. Now everybody will seek its own home. There's a lot more to be known about the microorganisms. Uh, I was digging into some books <coughs> and thought about the idea of uh, presenting all those factors that are living in the ground, or for example, soil or stones. Doesn't matter, they are there. But uh, to give it a nice analyze and also look for those critters into this system compared with soil and then put some hypothetical questions, hypotheses and perform some research and document it and then share it to the world. So that's what's coming this winter because yeah we have enough time then. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, the fish are doing fine as always. They are scavenging, uh, scavenging the bottom of the tank. Brings everything nice in suspension. I see them over there. Water's a little bit brownish, a little bit darker. It can also be the sunlight. Anyway, they're doing fine, and the small fish uh, from last time, yeah, I didn't saw it back, but should be there. Also doing fine. The rest of the system is also doing fine. It's taking uh, just growing uh, quite fast now. It's like uh, late season, and things are just, just, yeah, keeping the ground on. It's like amazing to see. They even uh, conquer this uh, grow bed with sponges. The mint plant over there it collapsed a little bit on its own weight and then grew back. <laughs> <laughs> More. <laughs> this is amazing. Over there, same, same. Katie was also doing fine. It's really fast. Tomatoes over there, not so many, but they taste good. Same over here. Nice tomato. Amazing. Swell filter is collecting more waste than usually. A little deteriorous. But the microorganisms in there keep it uh, also a little bit in suspension. And the tree is doing fine. It's just like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Pear tree. Maybe I mentioned an apple tree before, but it's a pear tree. Prunes over there. 
not so fast as the pear tree. The other one is also doing an amazing job. This is growing. <laughs> Yeah, and over here they have a little, they took a little snack, this one. Ah, that was too late. But still amazing how this uh, plant can, uh, can grow with this hole in it. This is amazing. I should put a camera into it, with critters or something. <laughs> And if you hear the flowers, now they have a, like a steady grow rate. But before, I saw these kinds uh, of doing over there. This just was already flowered out, but the lack of food or minerals or something. But now it did. The grow tea, I think we can. Uh, adjust some things into compared with grow crates if you put boxes in series like the water enters here goes into there with pipe lining underneath this is here and we divide it Coupled in series, so these ones get the food first, and then that one gets the food last, and it has an impact on the growth rate of plants compared with the first box. But maybe with worm tea, we can adjust this. Something to test more. But that was it, short episode, but we will dig into the material further and starting from small to big, so watch out for the next episode because it's going to start there. So, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, i see you later.